this Comanche bloodline. And um, after that, I don't know about them, but I started getting kind of this angry feeling. Arms started getting heated, and I almost felt like like mad, like the ener energy just kind of tensed up a little bit. And after that, he kind of felt a cold spot around the gun when he was holding it, when he was saying for them to take the gun from him. I want to take this from me. What was that? What's that? Is that you that whispered? Did you hear that? That sounded like a woman. What? Where? You saw a pair of eyes? Yeah. All right, describe to me what you saw. As we were standing right there, I looked over here, and I saw, I had my light on right here facing this direction, and I saw like this, a pair of eyes. You know how when you shine a light into someone's eyes, or an animal's eyes or whatever in the dark, and you can right. see them? That's what I saw, but I didn't see no animal, and they're like this high. So about four feet. Yeah, about four ground. feet high and I came around here to make sure it wasn't an animal and there's nothing. No, this is an open field. Go, go there's over a there big orb. Okay. There's a big what? Orb. You saw somebody stand over here? I saw a shadow, a person's shadow in this light. On the building. Just like if somebody is in here. On the building? Yeah, like someone walked out of the building. Oh, my ca the camera just died. Oh, jeez. My camera just died. It just went out. How's everybody doing? Uh, we're out here at Presidio de San Saba in Menard, Texas tonight. As you can see behind me, there's the old Presidio the old uh, Bastillion Tower. And here we got the sun going down and the flag in the background you can see. But anyway, we're gonna be doing a neat paranormal investigation tonight. I'm sure you're gonna enjoy. We've been wanting to come out here for a while. It's been in the game plan. I'm out here with Concho Valley Paranormal. And the sun, as you can see, is going down really fast behind me. And this is a great shot. But anyway, uh, let me show you something real fast here. Um, just want to show you this little sign. As you can see, restoration and reconstruction. And this is uh, basically what it looks like. I'm in the middle of the courtyard. And hopefully you saw that all right. But anyway, this is a really neat historical Texas location. It goes way back. Um, this had a very hostile Indian attack several centuries ago and uh, the Spanish missionaries died out here. And it was several thousand Indians composed of Comanches and a few other tribes that attacked this, this actual area where I'm standing. And again, nobody's ever done a paranormal exploration out here. And we just hope to uh, see what we're gonna uncover. And hopefully we'll find some paranormal out here tonight. So we'll see what happens. It's really 95 degrees off the stone up there. That makes sense because the sun's been beating down.
clear device just brings a whole other life to this place. Yeah. Anybody here? That's good. As you can see, what he's got in his hand is a good trigger object. When you're on an old West Texas Presidio, what better to bring than a gun? We're out here in Menard, just right outside Menard, at this known as at this place called Presidio de San Saba. This place was established in 1757 by this, by Spanish uh, missionaries came who came here to try to convert the local Indian tribes to Christianity. And it didn't really thrive very long. The actual mission, see this is just the Presidio, which is, was the military fort, but the mission uh, in March 16th, 1758 was sacked by over 2,000 uh, Comanche and Lakota warriors. And two of the three priests that inhabited there were ended up being killed, and so, along with several others. So um, I've been getting re several reports about this entire area, the Presidio, plus the mission grounds, which is completely closed because the mission no longer exists. So we're going to investigate the Presidio here and hopefully maybe get in contact with any of the natives who were attacked here or any of the Spanish soldiers who were stationed here, or maybe even the priests themselves who were both killed at the mission. Should be a good investigation on that. Yep. Hey guys, I'm super excited to be here, and I'm thinking we're gonna get some awesome stuff. Um, like you said, there's a lot of history here at this location, so I'm excited to see what we're gonna get tonight. I think it's gonna be a good investigation. what you're about to do and if you want to take the camera in there with you okay okay just going to kind of walk everybody through here's the uh bastillion tower the sun's going down pretty quick but this is really really cool and basically these people the settlers would come in here and this was their defense position against attack you got the various holes in the wall that they would uh, put sentries on, basically shoot through. It's really neat. All the way around. And we're going to again be doing a lot of paranormal investigation in here tonight just to. Uh, Boy, you kind of get a little dizzy in here. It's just uh, it's like stepping back in time. But we're going to do a paranormal investigation in here. Good exploration to see. Nobody has ever done this Presidio before. And specifically at night, nobody's ever been in here doing a paranormal exploration. We're the first. And it will be interesting to see what we walk out with tonight as far as paranormal evidence. And again, we're going to try to show it to you as we encounter it. And here you got all the, the ruins, the walls, all these used to uh, be building structures. It's a very old Presidio. And I'm just going to kind of walk you around, give you a good feel for it. Here we got the flag up in the air. This here was uh, the VIP quarters. It's where they put the important people. It was considered the main building within the Presidio. And it's close to the Round Bastion. And uh, that we were just in. And again, you gotta imagine this structure with walls and a roof on it at one point, which are long gone. But the unique thing is, you can just picture what these buildings and rooms must have been like back in the day. 
And when it gets dark in here, which is probably going to be in a few minutes, we again are going to see if the paranormal world brings this old Presidio back to life. Which a lot of times does occur when there's ruins and nightfall comes. You'd be amazed what happens in these locations. Just going to briefly walk you through, just kind of show you a little bit about what we're seeing. Here's one of the walls basically almost completely intact. You can see the height compared to the other walls. It's much higher. And this one actually feels more like a building. You can kind of see the general height of the wall and get a general feel of what this must have felt like. And I'm sure this is going to be an amazing paranormal investigation tonight. We'll see again what we come out with. All right. Okay, that's weird. My camera, you weren't moving, and right when you turned that on, it started to act like it was trying to box something. There it is again. It's trying to box something really big around you. Isn't that like a base detector or something? It picks up movement, and you weren't moving. Sarah's out of the frame, so it didn't hurt. Okay, there it is again. Something like it's trying to pick up some behind you, man. Big box, not a little box. That's a big box. Like it's trying to pick up on a big person. Did it get you? Yeah, it's one of those stank bugs and uh, it stinks. Yes. Uh. That's one of the things about being outdoors. Yeah. You gotta deal with the little creepy crawlies. Yeah. And our lights are gonna attract them. Yeah. What's that? Firecrackers? Yeah, they're shooting firecrackers down there. There's somebody standing right here behind me. Do I play English? You know I play Espanol. I 
no bosta. Yeah, there is a spider right here. Okay. Yeah, that's a black widow. Where? Where? You see, oh, shit, Where? Black widow. Where? You'll see his shadow on the top. See, you see his shadow right there, and then he's. Oh, here, get down. Where are you get, pointing? Get down low. Get down low, and you'll see him better. You see it? Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. Let me zoom in on it. There's two of them. Is there? There's one okay. there, and another one up there. Oh, well, that's well, that a shadow. No. no. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I see, that's a shadow up on the rock. Is he dead? No, I'm pretty sure it's alive. He's alive and juicy. <laughs> alive and juicy. There's a black widow, folks. Black Widow and Infrared. Oh, he just moved. He's alive. <laughs> oh, he <shit>. just moved. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. He's, uh... Oh, yeah, there's another one over here. Oh, wow. This place is full of them. Yeah, so y'all watch where you walk. He's up on top again, way in the back. Yeah. Yep. Okay, we know what's making these nests. We'll be okay, as long as we don't stick our hands through that. What's funny too is I saw that in the dark and knew it was a black little. Yeah. Southwest Bastion. Okay. Either that's a bird or a very big bat that just flew past. Really? I've been pretty hearing. pretty good size. I've been <laughs> Hey, come here, Sat. It's like an owl or something over there. Listen. Listen to what she's saying. That sounds creepy. Listen. Yeah. What is she saying? That's creepy. It's almost like she's chanting. Listen. Listen. Almost, it sounds like drums. It almost sounds like a ritual. <laughs> yeah. Listen to it. I think they're just very drunk. I think that's what's going on. Well, I hear a drum been, too, though. It's like. Dun, 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 dun. Wouldn't it be? Wouldn't it be freakish if we looked through and it was like satanic stuff if going there, on? Is that dude? Mm -mm. <laughs> Dan's like. Like, like all of a sudden we're sitting here and it all lights up and we see all these naked oh, women no. going around in a circle. Oh, hell no. Well, Dylan's like, Dylan's like, we don't cast, <laughs> Dylan's like, we don't mess, you know, we don't actually no. call out the devil or anything like that. But if stuff have like you that seen, starts happening, I'm going to... Have you seen that movie, The Witch? Mm-hmm. 
that creepy ant scene. Oh my the god! Ending, you should I was, have seen Connie's face I was, when that happened. No, I was sick to my stomach. Yeah. The moment that the ram oh. starts talking to her, oh, that was creepy. I was sick to my stomach. Yeah, you can feel. You yeah. can feel when something's evil. Yeah, that that movie that movie it. creeped me out. Even it just really talking did. about it right now is giving me yeah. the chills. The way they ended that movie creeped me out. She walked into the circle and then they uh, just started flying, floating. Oh, yeah. you know. Ooh, Pretty eerie. See, he uh, is Comanche bloodline, and um, after that, I don't know about them, but started getting kind of this angry feeling. Um, I did. Like my arms started getting heated, and I almost felt like like mad. Like the ener energy just kind of tensed up a little bit. And after that, he kind of felt a cold spot around the gun when he was holding it, when he was saying for them to take the gun from him. Interesting. So, and it's kind of weird because... Could be this place is starting to reach out to us. Well, and it's kind of weird that, you know, because they didn't really feel the difference in the energy level, but me being Spanish, you know... Correct. And then he's talking about... Because at the time, that's all they were speaking here. Yeah. And then he's talking about the Comanche bloodlines, and I'm Spanish... Mm -hmm. And he's, you know, I'm, I'm the one feeling mad. He could be the link. It's kind of, it's kind of weird. Mm -hmm. And that's what we got to think about this. This was the 1700s. Mm -hmm. And this was the Spanish that, that built this. So there wouldn't have been any English spoken out here. Where is, uh, where is Anthony right now? Okay, well, I don't know if you, like, when I go to There's a ram pod on the ground. Who is that? You heard that too? You're hearing stuff, aren't you? I'm trying to figure out where it's coming from. Because standing inside where we are, it sounds like it's right outside the walls. I wasn't moving, I was just right here. Was it loud to you out here? Well, I was hearing that chanting over when there. out here, I can hear it from over there, and it's like, uh, it's so hard to tell. Sound gets a little distorted out here, but you know, at the same time, we're in a pretty open area. Yeah. And one thing. And coming across a field, it ain't going to get that distorted. I get a weird feeling in this place. Well, I think it killed my flare. I had a full charge on that thing. It yeah. should have lasted three hours. The moment I start filming this this place, it, it starts dying. I heard that whistle again. Yeah, I just heard it too. Uh. Is there anything out there? That wants to take this from me? Do you hear that? Came from my right. I almost sounded like a low voice. There was again. Make sure when you take those shots, get some get some bus on them too. This is 
wants the chapel right here. Yes. And in front of there is the VIP building. Where they would have had all the important people. That lightning's put on some show now. What was that? What was that? What was that? Is that you that whispered? Did you hear that? That sounded like a woman. Did you say anything? It sounded like a woman that? came from right here. You didn't say, you you didn't say anything. Woman, or heard that like you didn't, even, you you didn't, didn't start anything. a recorder or anything, did you, Dylan? Uh, God, you didn't hear that? It was like right here. And well, it sounded like it was saying something like, yeah. Yeah, or, that's what I heard. Nobody move. Stay in this circle that we're kind of in. There goes the cleaning person. That's so weird. Hmm? I thought I saw a shadow back in that thing just a second ago, but it's hard to tell because it was rocks. Padre Alonso Gerardo de Guerrero. Padre Jose Santiago Esteban. There might be a deer walking. Ah. Uh, they make that noise a lot. I wish the nose and go. Problem is my flare is dead and I can't scan the way I want it to scan while we're doing this. The spotlight. I mean, it's like the sucker should give me like three hours at least. Right. And it didn't. It's like the moment I walked over where you guys were, it, it went out. Okay. I'm just gonna. Oh, good. I had my recording on the whole time. The biggest oh. thing that I have heard so far is footsteps. Yeah. Whenever we freaked this or we saw figures all of a sudden. That's what that security guard at La Bahia described his experience like. Yeah, next time I go to Yorktown, I'm thinking about doing a two-night deal, having a night there right. and a night at Yorktown. Are you following us around right now? What? Where? You saw a pair of eyes? Yeah. Alright, describe to me what you saw. As we were standing right there, I looked over here and I saw a 
And I had my light on right here facing this direction. And I saw like this, a pair of eyes. You know how when you shine a light into someone's eyes or an animal's eyes or whatever in the dark and you can right. see them? That's what I saw, but I didn't see no animal. And they're like this high. So about four feet yeah, up the ground? about four feet high. And I came around here to make sure it wasn't an animal and there's nothing. No, this is an open field. Wow. I got a weird, uh, horrible thing coming out, but I'm going to change it back to where you can see it. Hey guys. I'm moving right there. Right there. To the right of the tree. I know for, yeah, they were winning, yeah. My camera doesn't reach that far. It's infrared. It's right. To the right of it? Yeah, to the right of the tree. Right between the trees. Almost center between those trees. Something's moving. See how, see that speck right there? That I don't know if like it's it. a deer, but there's something. Yeah, there's something there. It's right there. I don't see what? anything moving. What? 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 You saw somebody stand over here? I saw a shadow, a person's shadow in this light. On the building. Just like if somebody is in here. On the building? Yeah, like someone walked out of the building. If you oh, my ca the camera just died. Oh, jeez. My camera just died. It just went out. Completely died. <laughs> This this yeah. died just like my flare. Oh, at or the your same camera. Time? Yeah, that's where I was standing with the flare a second ago. You should have had how much juice on that camera? I I just put the battery in because I had to replace it. So it should be pretty full. And we've only been get, investigating not even an hour. I'm not right? even sure how much battery I have on here. So you saw a shadow way up at the top? Like yeah. like if somebody were walking towards the... Walked out, but it was huge. Cast it on this whole thing and they walked out. That's why I ran over here to make sure no one was messing around over here. Oh, uh, I hope we got that on the camera. Ah. Uh. Whoa. Whoa, look. I have more than more than half battery left, too. And, just, and it went out. And it just randomly died, yeah. And you had a recording, so it wouldn't have died from non-recording. Oh, this is freakish, man. Anybody over here? This is, uh... You make a noise, throw something. This is, like, really freakish. Let us know you're here. Can you throw a rock up against this wall? Like that? Throw something. Yeah, but, well, the camera turned off as soon as we came back over here. Is it back on now? Yeah. What? Yeah. Wait, did you turn it back on? Right. I didn't touch it. Sorry about that. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't touch it. Right I was now. just looking at it. It's really freakish stuff, guys. Like well, I can see it. How about that? Yep. That's actually better right there, right? Yeah. Is it something moves? You can see it in the camera good? Yeah.
Okay, that was a bug. Join us. Walk towards us. Come out and join us. I wish I could keep my arms. I have a little tripod now. Well, even if you if you set it on the rock ledge thing, the, the it would be still at least. You know, that's the hard part about holding. Problem is, you gotta have that button held down. Oh. Uh, mm -hmm. And it would be totally still, and there'd be no denying. Yeah. Now I got two hands on this. Anybody here? Come chill. walk towards us. Join us. Cold air chill. So, this. this is going to see you move. Come on, walk towards us. Right here. Dylan saw you before. Can you show yourself again? Walk towards us. Walk out and walk towards us. That way we can really see. You can see your shape and everything. Figures now it's going to hide from us. All of these batteries keep dying. That's the last one. Mm -hmm. Pretty cool looking. Right. I hear that. What is that? Yeah. There's something there. You hear it? Yeah. Yeah, we hear it over here. To me, it sounds like a long bone. So, I still got that camera? So, get a shot of me holding this thing. Well, even but even before that, that little. What's in the middle right there? Oh, okay, too. I just okay. set it down. Are you an Indian? Are you Spanish? Did anyone say anything? Huh? Yeah. I could have swore I heard someone talking as, as soon as he started walking. Do it again. Whoa. Hmm. This camera's picking up a big box of movement right there in front of you, Anthony.
I'm rolling on the recorder again. Okay. The battle that happened here. Why did it happen? For what cause? Can you make a noise? Throw something? Shout really loudly? If there's any Indians here, can you show me a chant? Dan walking. Can you make this go off right here, just like this? Recorder stuff recording too. Okay. Alright, hello you guys. Um what I'm gonna this video is for is to kind of show you guys exactly how infrared night vision works. <laughs> As you can see this camera is recording in IR night vision. You can see Sarah and Anthony there. But as I pan this phone up you don't see anything. It's pitch dark. This is what our eyes see when we record in infrared night vision. We can't see anything. The only way we can see is what's is through these screens. I just want to do a little demonstration. Yep. Yep. So that's weird. I can see. I can see Sarah, whenever Sarah looks at me at the camera, it detects her face. Right. But earlier, it was doing like you said earlier. It was yeah, like this like big box and movement. Else. Yeah. That was weird. I just saw. Is there a car coming around that side right there? There is this light across the street There's though that that's been circling. Car going that way. Well, that's the first I've been looking pretty much kind of at that little opening right there, and I've been I just saw a really black bright flash of light, and that's the only time it ever happened. Oh, okay, well the car did pass by too, so. Yeah, but I didn't. I wouldn't have gotten the head the headlight. I would have gotten the tail light. It wouldn't have been that bright. Oh, it, it's coming. It's coming in the direction you would have saw the headlights first. Sounds like it died down. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's kind of interesting. Notice it feels like mm -hmm. it's died down some. Yeah, I saw it right in front of the camera. It's like it died down, and look at the storm's pretty much gone. Yeah, there's no cloud. Maybe the storm was creating. You know, there's no lightning the now nearby. Energy. Like it's all way over it's there. All it's all hit more. And then it just kind of the activity dies down. Yeah, storms are. If you can investigate during a storm, yeah, that's kind of ideal too. And it was even reflecting off the wall. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That was weird. I thought I just saw another like thing in front of that window again. That little one in there. 
like a shape of a head. Yeah, I keep seeing stuff in that window. Tired, Dylan? I'm actually enjoying this. Oh, good. <laughs> Look, you be cameraman a lot. <laughs> it is fun. Yeah. I told Connie the other day, I said, the paranormal is a passion, but filmmaking is also becoming a passion. <laughs> Like the moment I walked over here, mm -hmm. it was working fine over there. I come over here, right when you guys were having all the stuff happening, and boom, there it goes. So right. I start filming. It's it strange. <laughs> Let us see what the Presidio was like in the 1700s. Show us. Show us what the massacre was like. 